Hello and good morning to all of you, dear parents. Today uh, we'll be having our orientation, the topic online safety group team. Uh, the online safety, as we have already uh, discussed and I have already presented very well about that, what is exactly online safety and uh, the policies related to it. So according to these policies, before uh, we, we are having a whole team uh, like a behavioral committee, but as per the involvement of this e-child safety, we have created some more positions which is uh, which itself a combination called online safety group team okay so uh, I, I will i will inform you all or i will present to all these delegates one by one that what's their responsibility what's their duty and who is that delegate personally let's start with the blessings of our honorable chairman sir mr abubakar al hashmi uh, who is the governing body of uh, uh, the e-child safety program. It's myself, a chief protection officer. Uh, I'm right now as a CEO, Muhammad Tarek Sadiqi. Uh, my role is clearly defined like how to protect our school environment for, from the side of online uh, activity, which is not acceptable, like cybercrime, anti-bullying, reporting, and all those things. So regarding regarding all these activities, we should have a control and how we can protect the child from these kind of scams, these kind of threats. Uh, this is what the way we have to look into it. And my responsibility is to, to track the things in that manner and to exclude the matter in that particular area where it is required. This is the school online safety group. Uh, at the top, you can see the online safety leader who is Mr. Mukhintan Roban. And there is a digital monitors, designated safeguarding lead. There are also a SLD. And the chief protecting officer, monitoring and inspection team. There is a child security officer and a data protection officer. There is a distance learning team. Uh, we will discuss about them in detail. He is an online safety leader, Mr. Mokhentan, uh, and he is acting as admin supervisor also. The main work of the online safety leader that he is the one who is going to responsible for all the uh, for all the activities which which comes in which comes into the which comes into the considerations, like if any mishappening there during the online classes or during, during um, you can say, any activities in, in the school campus regarding internet, regarding uh, devices, if any student has bought by mistake or something like that. So he is the one who, who has to look into that matter. He has to make the strategies that how to, how to take the precautions and how to resolve such issues. So he has to be very active to interact with his team as I already showed you all that this is the team and in this team, he has to be very active to take the meeting and all. And accordingly, the decision should be taken with the help of uh, chief protection officer, as well as uh, uh, there is a designated safe uh, safeguarding lead. So with, with the help of uh, them, we have to reach at the particular stage or the decision so the continuous meeting is uh, involved, the continuous development in the plan is involved. So as an online safety leader, it is his responsibility to, to just make the strategies and to, uh, to implement those strategies successfully in the group, in the whole campus. He is Mr. Ajmal, uh, he is uh, acting as a data protection officer. He is basically an IT teacher and uh, his main responsibility is to protect the uh, data, okay? Like in terms of the backup, in terms of uh, uh, the informations, what we, were, what we are already having on, on, on social media or online platforms or in the PCs in the lab. So he, he is the one who, is to, who has to take care about the uh, privacy, about the security of th those data. 
uh, we are having some policies also, which is already explained uh, in the website. You can see uh, there, there is a policy which is called acceptable use policy, bring your own device policy uh, with the same consent, like uh, to protect the rights or uh, if uh, let us suppose if we are posting any, any photographs of the students or parents or uh, any staff, we are taking the consent from them. Like they should not have any issues if you are posting something related to them. So the, there is a privacy matter. Uh, there is a privacy matter, and which we are taking uh, care about it. So all the data in forms of uh, in images, in forms of documents, in forms of personal informations, all these things are going to take care uh, by Mr. Ajmal, who is actually a data protection officer. Yes, she is Mrs. Jashri Naran. She is uh, uh, acting as a KG supervisor and we have given her a position for child security officer. She is a very experienced, uh, you can say, supervisor and he is, she has a very good skill that how to, how to take care for the child in terms of security, in terms of, uh, in terms of their safeguarding and all. So she as a supervisor knows very well that how to how to behave with them and uh, she is very friendly like if any student is affected by something or if uh, he or she is already threatened by someone or bullying or something like that so she is the one like she she becomes very friendly to such a student so that the students can share the whole incidents to her and uh, she can uh, make the strategies to solve those issues with the help of the counselor uh, and accordingly, it can be done. He is Mr. Rajesh. Uh, he is a secondary supervisor, and we have given him a position as a designated safeguarding lead (DSL). And uh, he is also one of the uh, person who is responsible for the safeguarding issue. If any student is a victim of it, or any student is threat or bullying or cyber crime or anything is related to it. He, he has to look into those areas. He has to be very active on those meetings. We are having three more designated safeguarding lead. I'll introduce like uh, Mrs. Asha Yonikrishnan. She is a middle section supervisor. She's a, she is actually a SLT member and we have given her also a position of designated safeguarding lead with the same way. And uh, there's Mrs. Ansari uh, who is a primary supervisor and we have given her a position of designated safeguarding lead as well uh, so all these three members are responsible for, for the safeguarding issues these are the groups uh, this is actually the group of online safety you can say as a digital monitor as per the recommendation from the ministry uh, it was informed to us like we have to uh, we have to assign a digital monitor in terms of students or in terms of uh, staff so here uh, uh, mrs shifana is there uh, she's actually an IT teacher. There is Mrs. Shakila, digital monitor, Mrs. Abhina, Mrs. Anita, Mr. Rafiq, Mrs. Reshma, Mrs. Shravani, and Mrs. Madiha. Uh, there is a reporting procedure in this school. Reporting procedure for anti-bullying is uh, like uh, if any anti-bullying case is there or non-behavioral attempt is there. So there, there is a portal for the students and parents they have, if they already affected with such kind of things, he has to inform to the digital monitor, which is already, already I told you about this team. So they, they are assigned with some section. So the students and the parents, they can directly communicate to the digital monitor about that uh, particular incidents. And uh, the digital monitor has a responsibility to look into that matter and they can escalate the matter to uh, DSL. We can say SLT designated a uh, safeguarding lead and they have to investigate the things and they has to talk to the students and parents and they can escalate the matter to the counselor. Uh, this time the counselor we are having Mrs. Majida and uh, she has to uh, look into those issues and uh, she has to make the report accordingly and she has to in investigate it and she has to escalate the matter to principal was actually a CPO and uh, they both have to investigate the things and they have to discuss, they have to talk to the students and parents and if the solutions can be made, so they have to go, go for that solution. And uh, if it is not 
solved in that level, then it should escalate to the governing body or to the external child protection agency or to the police to find the exact uh, uh, exact decision which is favorable uh, favorable in terms of the security or in terms of uh, the reporting procedure or this behavior attempt. This is the whole uh, layout in, in, in terms of designated posi positions. Like there is a behavioral management committee. Uh, we have segregated the form like grade KG1 and 2. They can directly communicate to digital monitor, Mrs. Mary Jasmine, and that will escalate to SLT as a KG supervisor. And then they will discuss to counselor and then principal and then the governing body. In the same way, grade 1 to 3, Mrs. Shaina. Grade four to seven, Mrs. Shabana. Grade eight to 12, Mrs. Nishana. And the extreme incidents can be reported to police for further assistance. So this is the, uh, this is the whole uh, procedure and uh, the staff members whom we have given the responsibilities. Uh, accordingly, they have to act. Uh, thank you so much for your cooperation. I hope you all will follow the same protocols to report the issues.